In this video, I share a simple potty training method that will completely change your life. Stick around, this video you don't want to miss. Up next on Yeti's Place. To find the best tips and tricks for owning a Samoyed, be sure to hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and check out our links down below. A great way for you to begin potty training your puppy is to feed them a great quality puppy food at the exact same time every day. When your puppy finishes, bring them outside immediately. Make it a party when they go potty where they're supposed to. Give your puppy a treat. It's great if you get into the excitement too. Be sure to yip yip along with your puppy when your puppy goes potty. Yeah, yip yip, sweetie. Yeah, that's what I would do when you would go potty outside like a good boy when you were a puppy. I yip, 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 yip. Potty training is fun. Poopy potty training is even better. Potty! It takes time to potty train, so be sure to have a lot of patience. Be observant and supervise your dog whenever they're inside playing, drinking water, eating their food, napping, and awakening. If you're not in the same room with your puppy, be sure to put your puppy in a puppy playpen. Puppy playpens are larger areas than human baby playpens. When you let your puppy out of the puppy playpen, it's best if you carry your puppy outside, if they're small enough. You don't want them to have an accident. That's why carrying them outside, if you're able to, if they're small enough where you can comfortably carry your puppy outside, that is always best. Puppies have to be taught where they can and can't go potty. You'll have to be consistent with the training. Your puppy has to be taught that your house is also their house. It's not their poopy, potty stomping grounds. No going poopy and potty in the house. No. <clears throat> Thankfully, puppies don't like to go potty where they sleep. It'll take time for your puppy to learn your whole house is their whole house, so they'll have accidents. Sometimes many accidents. Gate off areas to make their zone a little bit smaller. When you're not there to supervise, be sure to put your puppy in a small gated area, like in a puppy playpen or in a crate. Don't leave them alone too long. A half hour to an hour at the most, is always best for a little puppy. At the end of that time, bring them outside immediately. Puppies have tiny bladders, so it's important that you get them outside frequently and often. Puppies are little babies. Baby dogs with tiny bladders, they can't hold it for very long. You wouldn't leave a human baby unsupervised, so why would you leave a little baby puppy unsupervised? Puppy playpens are great fits for you when you need to spend time away. For example, running errands, or cleaning the house in another room. Remember to bring your puppy outside right away the moment you let them out of their crate. Crates are, <laughs> Yeti, come here. Sweetie, you gotta come over here, come here. Crates are great for overnights and when you're not there to watch your puppy. Crates prevent your puppy from having accidents because they won't go potty where they sleep. Crates should be big enough for your puppy to move around comfortably. Having a crate divider is a great idea <laughs> for your tiny puppy. They don't like to go potty where they sleep. You'll bring them right outside, right away, the moment you let them out of that crate. If they're small enough, picking them up and carrying them outside. If they're too big to carry, you'll bring the leash with you, then you'll open up the crate, hook them up onto the leash right away and bring them outside immediately. Don't allow them to eat and drink water until after they've been outside. Crates should be placed where the people are. For example, in the bedroom for nighttime sleeping. That way your puppy gets to feel like they're a member of your family, because they are. The amount of time your little puppy can spend comfortably in a crate is equal to one hour per month of age. For example, if they are two months of age, then you can comfortably leave them in the crate for two hours at a time. Remember, tiny bladders. They also don't go potty when you're holding them, so if they're small enough and you're removing them from their crate, be sure to pick them up and carry them outside because they won't go potty in the arms of the person who is holding them. Hold them a bunch and cuddle with them a bunch because they grow so quickly. Yeti's chest, when he was five weeks old, was as big as my hand. And now look at this. My hand is as big as his snout. They grow fast. Be sure to savor those moments while they're so cute, little, and cuddly. During the daytime, while playing with your fuzzy puppy, the moment they stop playing, bring them outside right away. Pick them up and carry them outside. 
They stop playing because they have to go potty right away. And they will if you don't get them outside right away. Yeti had many accidents. When you're outside with your puppy, be sure to do your happy puppy poopy potty dance. Be sure to celebrate that moment they go potty so that they know that this is the place where they go potty. They go potty outside. Your fuzzy puppy will learn that outside is the place to go much more quickly if you celebrate. Sweetie, you are gonna get fat by eating so many treats. Now occasionally, your puppy will have an accident. Only get mad if you catch them in the act. Puppies don't understand human language, so don't get mad at them like you do at another human person because they're not going to understand that. What you do if you catch your puppy in the act of going potty is you look at them with a stern face and you furrow your brows together and you extend your shoulders out and you say no, you growl at them in their language that they understand. You mix in a few no's in with the growling. The moment you growl at a little puppy, they're gonna know that that means no, don't do that, and you're gonna pick them up right away and bring them outside immediately. When they're naughty around their dog mothers, their mothers growl at them when they're being naughty. So you too should growl at your puppy when your puppy is doing something that is undesirable. Only if you catch them in the act of going potty in the house should you do that. Immediately after growling and showing your teeth, Pick your puppy up if your puppy is small enough. Carry them outside right away. The moment they go potty where they're supposed to go, congratulate them, be happy, be thrilled, give them lots of pets, and have that poopy potty potty dance. Now if you don't catch them in the act of going potty where they're not supposed to go potty, don't fret about it, just bring them outside right away and then clean it up without making a big fuss. Because your puppy isn't going to remember what they did a few minutes before. But they know that they've been bad if you catch them in the act. If you don't catch them in the act, just be sure to pick your puppy up, bring your puppy outside and congratulate them when they go potty where they're supposed to. Feeding your puppy at the same time every day helps eliminate some of those accidents. Because you can get to know their potty schedule their poopy and their potty schedule. And it also helps to establish a good routine with your dog. So immediately after they eat, the moment they stop crunching away, you'll pick them up if they're small enough and you'll carry them outside. And you'll say, good boy, Yeti, good boy for going potty where you're supposed to go. That's such a good boy. If they have not finished their meal yet, but they start wandering away, that's your cue to bring them outside right away. Wandering away from their meal is their signal that they have to go outside and go potty. When you come back inside, be sure to put their dog food up so they can't get at it until it's their next time for eating. Always have their water out, but be observant. Right away after they finish drinking their water, you have to bring them outside. It takes time to train a Samoyed to go potty where they're supposed to go. So be patient. Talk to them in their dog language, their yip yips and their Urgh. If they have an accident and you catch them, be sure to use their language. Urgh. Puppies will eventually begin to understand human language, but not so much when they're little. Using puppy language also helps you and your puppy develop a good, loving relationship. This is Yeti's cue that it's time to go, so we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.